So we're gonna be here uh, doing a, a Monday shop info day. So we've had a couple problems with the E450s and the E455s from Skyrc, the basic balance chargers. Issue is the menus are really easy to go through, but the instruction manual is very unclear on how to actually charge your battery. So uh, we're gonna do a quick walkthrough on how to set your amperage on your battery, on the charger, what you gotta do, and uh, how you're supposed to properly charge this battery. So this will be for anyone with the E450, which is the previous model to this, uh, or the E455 from SkyRC. I know there's a lot of other chargers that are very, very similar to this charger. So what we got here is your basic LiPo Life Lithium High Voltage NIM, and you have your amp rates on the right-hand side. So first things first, we gotta plug in our battery. So on a LiPo, there's gonna be your balance lead, which is this little white connector here, and your main power lead. So with the SkyRC chargers, they have an XT60 that goes into them, and then right beside it is going to be your balance lead. So on there's a negative one, two, three, four. So this charger will go up to four cell. So what you gotta do is you look at your balance lead here. So it's black and it has three wires on the right side and one positive. There's also two tangs, these two right here, um, that essentially make it so you can't plug it in backwards. And if you do, you have to really force it in. But the biggest thing is you want the farthest black wire, so your first negative, to be all the way to the right-hand side of the charger. And the last pin should plug in to C3, since this is a 3S. Other thing that you're gonna have to plug in is your main power lead. So we have an adapter from XT60 to IC3 or EC3, depending on what you got going on. We have our balance lead now plugged in. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to set our amp rate. So we have LiPo preset, which is perfect. If you're charging a life or lithium high voltage or a NIM, you can just use the bottom button here to cycle through what you want. But since we're charging a LiPo, that's gonna be the setting we're gonna want it on. Now we can set our amp rate. And how to do this is really easy. Uh, it gets kind of confusing just looking at like if you're online because it's like, oh, 1C. Well, what does 1C mean? That is going to be our milliamp numbers divided by 1000. So that is going to convert it into amp hours because the chargers only charge in amps, not milliamps. So the one thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna divide this number by a thousand. So if we wanted to charge this battery at 1C, it would be 5.3 amps. Downside with this charger, it'll only go up to four amps, but we can safely charge at four amps. It is gonna take just a little bit over an hour because four amps is roughly gonna produce about 4,000 milliamps an hour. So it'll take about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes to fully charge, but that's not gonna hurt the battery in any means. I mean, you can charge even lower amp rate. It's just gonna take longer. It's still gonna balance and do all the things like that since we have the balance lead plugged in. So nothing major there, but this is where we start having some issues. So now to actually get this charger to charge, what we have to do is press and hold the amp select button. And what'll happen is that'll go all the way up and then it'll start telling you where the battery roughly is. So this battery was um, at 3.3 volts per cell. So right now it's telling us that we're only about 25% charged. As this increases, you'll start to see that, you know, it's at 75% charged or at 100% charged. And then when it's done charging, the nice part with all these new chargers is they will not continue to charge. But the one thing that we always have issues with is you have to press and hold the amp button to get the trip battery charger to start charging. Uh, if you wanna you know, stop the charger, you can just simply unplug the connector itself and you are stopped. So if I unplug this connector, you'll just see that error code saying, hey, there's not a battery plugged in anymore. And again, go back to charging, plug it in, press your amp button. Now it's at four amps set it to what you want press and hold it for about three to four seconds uh, and then that cycle will start again and now you're charging so hopefully this helps with anyone with a sky rc e450 or oe455 charger thank you so much for watching and uh we'll catch you on the next one bye